हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज केरला पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन असिस्टेंट इंजीनियर पेपर 2014 सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन बाय वन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 द कर्वेचर ऑफ अर्थ सरफेस इज टेकन इनटू अकाउंट ओनली इफ द एक्सटेंट ऑफ सर्वे इज मोर देन ऑप्शन ए 100 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑप्शन बी 160 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑप्शन सी 300 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑप्शन डी 260 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर सो हियर कर्वेचर ऑफ अर्थ सरफेस इज टेकन इनटू अकाउंट मींस कर्वेचर ऑफ अर्थ इज टेकन इनटू अकाउंट इज क्वेश्चन गिवन सो इफ इट इज लेस देन 250 देन वी टेक If it is less than two fifty kilometer square kilometer, okay, then it is plane surveying. Plane surveying, okay. But when the curvature path is taken into account, but when two sixty. So here two sixty is the correct answer. That is option D is the correct answer. Option two. The main principle of surveying is to work. Option A from part to the whole. Option B from whole to the part. Option C from higher level to lower level. From option d from lower level to higher level so here the main principle of a surveying is to work always remember from whole to part okay from whole to part from from whole to part okay here option b is the correct answer option b that is option b is the correct answer क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट आंसर ए ऑयल कंडीशन ट्रायंगल हैज नो एंगल लेस देन ऑप्शन ए ट्वेंटी डिग्री ऑप्शन बी थर्टी डिग्री ऑप्शन सी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ऑप्शन डी सिक्सटी डिग्री सो ए ऑयल कंडीशन ट्रायंगल हैज नो एंगल लेस देन थर्टी डिग्री एंड नॉट मोर देन वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो हियर Correct option is thirty degree. Option B is the correct answer. That is thirty degree. Okay. Question number four. The imaginary line passing through the intersection of a cross hairs and the optical center of the objective is known as option A line of a collimation, axis of a telescope, option B line of a sight, option D none of the none of this so here the imaginary line passing through the intersection of a cross hairs and optical center means when imaginary line passing through the intersection of a cross hairs and optical center it is known as a line of a collimation and line of a sight so here option a line of a collimation and option b line of sight so here both a and b are correct a as well as b were correct option 5 a a relatively fixed point of known elevation above datum is known as option a datum point option b reduced level option c reference point option d benchmark benchmark so here correct answer is a relatively fixed point of known elevation above datum is known as benchmark that is option d is the correct answer option d correct answer benchmark okay benchmark benchmark question number 6 The boundary of a water of a still lake represents a level surface, a horizontal surface, 
a contour surface a concave surface so your correct answer is contour line so the boundary of a water of a steel neck represents a contour line that is option c is the correct answer question number six option c is the correct answer question number seven a closed contours of a decreasing values towards the towards their center represents a option a hill option b depression option c a saddle option d a river bed so here asking closed contours of a decreasing values means decreasing values when it is giving the decreasing values towards their center then it will be as a depression when it when if it is asking about increasing values here increasing values towards their center then it will be as a hill but here it is a decreasing values as it is given it is given as a decreasing values so we have to put depression that is option b is the correct answer okay if if it is asking about increasing value towards their center then it will be as a hill okay question number eight the orient to orient a plane table at a point with a two inaccessible point the method generally adopted is option a intersection option b resection option c radiation option d two point problem so here correct answer is a two point problem to orient a plane table at a point with two inaccessible points the method generally adopted is two point problem that is option d is correct answer option d okay option d question number nine question number nine if you want to download this question paper you can search on www.phc.net.in okay okay question number nine the smaller horizontal angle between the true meridian and the survey line is known as the smaller horizontal angle between the true meridian and the survey line is known as option a azimuth option b declination option c bearing option d dip so here correct option is the smaller angle smaller horizontal angle between the true meridian and the survey line is known as azimuth and if it is asking about the angle between true meridian and magnetic meridian then it is a declination but here it is asking about true meridian and the survey line that is option a option a is the correct answer question number nine option a is correct answer azimuth question number 10 the whole circle bearing of a line is 120 degree okay so it's a reduced bearing reduced bearing 120 Deco. north south east west okay given that whole circle bearing of a line is 120 degree 120 degree okay from north from north okay 120 okay so reduced bearing from south or north which is the closer closer to south or near okay so here this is 120 total x this is 120 so this angle equal to 160 that is a s 60 e question number 10 option b is the correct answer Question number 11. The most reliable estimate is option A. Preliminary estimate. Option B. Plain theory estimate. Option C. Detailed estimate. Option D. Cube rate estimate. So, the most reliable estimate is detailed estimate. Plain theory or a square meter method. Cubic rate or cubic meter method is also used, but here the most reliable estimate is you have to remember detailed estimate. This is most important question. Okay. Okay. Question number twelve. Pick up the item of work not included in the plinth area estimate. P 
pick up the item of work not included in the plinth area estimate option a veranda area option b wall thickness option c room area option d water closet area so here correct answer is pick up the item of work not included in the plinth work not included wall but here wall thickness room area and water closet area are included in the plinth area estimate so here option a that is veranda area is not included in the plinth area estimate that is 12 12 option a okay 12 option a 12 option a correct answer question number 13 the minimum width of a septic tank is taken as so it is the important question the minimum width of a septic tank is always 750 millimeter so here 750 millimeter 750 millimeter that is 75 centimeter so here option b is the correct answer question number 13 option b is the correct answer question number 14 for 100 square meter cement concrete 1 is to 2 is to 4 4 centimeter thick floor the quantity of cement required is option a 0 0.98 meter cube option b 1 meter cube option c 0 0.9 meter cube option d 0 0.94 meter cube so here correct option will be 0 0.94 meter cube but uh, first you have to for a for 100 square meter concrete with 4 centimeter thick so 4 centimeter but uh, 100 square meter 100 in square meter in meter case but uh, 4 centimeter thick so you have to convert it into meter that is that is 0 0.04 <laughs> so first uh, first you have to find volume volume kya hai 100 into 0 0.04 that is 4 meter cube okay first first volume then after that add add 10 percent in volume for on evenness of a surface means 4 4 into 10 percent okay means 4.4 meter cube okay first okay after that add 50 percent for a dry volume of a concrete add 50 percent for dry volume of a concrete 